Hello and welcome to Gabe's Games. Thank you so much for coming to see me play through some more Spider-Man Miles Morales today. Time to use this unlimited ride pass. I'm actually really liking this game. And in this episode, we're actually going to cover one of the main parts of this game, which is the bridge section. It's going to be sick. And everything in this game is going to be done in one take. Phone, check. Subway card, check. You got the house key? Yeah, I got it. Come on, we're gonna be late. I've already seen this before. This is kind of cool to actually play. Uh, hey, <laughs> dude, I am so filling your suit with snow. Are you still wearing your suit? Yeah, you know, just in case. It's gonna be fine. This was how they demonstrated Spider-Man Miles Morales PS5 and... See, this is my favorite part of living in Harlem. Pop-up street fair, best food in the city, awesome music. When I looked at it, I thought, gee, you know what, this looks like a good game, but it didn't really look like something which showcased the PS5 to me as better than the PS4. That partner dancing there is actually kind of cool. It's really basic salsa steps. You can see them doing really basic salsa steps. I'm almost curious if they ever get any mocap actors in who are actually really advanced salsa dancers or partner dancers of some sort. But it still looked pretty cool, and I'm actually so keen to play this. I'm actually checking this part out to see if there's any more interactive scenes that I can actually do in this part. Because I'm going to find all of them. And so far, nothing has impressed me the way that Uncharted for a Thief's End has. Because... I remember when everybody saw Uncharted for a Thief's End, they were like, Whoa, you know, the interactive moments you can have in the crowd is awesome. So far, this is more or less what I saw and played in Uncharted for a Thief's End. She's been a teacher my whole life. Similar skill sets, right? Rallying people, educating them, making sure they don't throw things at each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've seen this lady before. That looks really cool. She speaks cool. sign language. That's really cool. Oh, wow, that's such an awesome language. Oh. Sorry. She's kind of cute, too. Unrelated to this for a minute, I actually learned how to sign We Wish You a Merry Christmas the other day, and that was really cool, but I want to learn more of the language. It's a really interesting language, and it has so many different variations. I'll let these guys speak. This is my girlfriend Steph. She just started volunteering at Feast. Good to meet you. I'm sure we'll run into each other at the shelter. Speaking of... No shifts for you till after winter break. If we're open by then. What do you mean? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Enjoy your mom's speech. I'll call you after break. Sweet kid. You wanna head down cool. to the rally? Cool. I like the way she said, don't worry about it. Makes me feel like she's a little bit gangster. Don't worry about it. Gangster. Well, I used to make she's cool. All the time. You kids ordering? No. Thanks anyway. We'll be in CJ Walker Park next Thursday. By then, use your food and drink. Thanks, cool. So that's another one. That also, I just realized they're at the Feast Center from Spider-Man 2018. I wonder what the Feast Center's up to, and if we can actually visit it in this game. I just got firmly rejected from this guard. Floor. Reminds me of that moment in the Last of Us where you get shot in the head by the guards if you actually try and sneak past them twice. Okay. Hey, here he is. Okay. I'll clear out before your mom sees me. Who's this? It's my friend Genki. He's helping me with my uh, spider project. Uh huh. You look out for my nephew. You hear? I'll try, but he doesn't make it easy. I'm standing right here. <laughs> Enjoy your mom's speech, kid. Dude, you told him? You figured it out. I feel you when we get home. Gotta admit, Harlem has pretty good food trucks. Maybe even better than Brooklyn. Your order's up. Thank you so much. This will keep me warm when I'm listening to the speech. Just thought I'd move out of the way so that she could collect the food. 
it's actually kind of cool to have our uh, uncle just around us. We might actually be able to bond with him, you know? It's good to have more of Mouse's family around this game. Oh, he's another one. Okay, let's check it out. What do you think they'll do next? Hopefully, realize fighting Spider-Man is too much trouble and decide to go home. <laughs> if only. Yeah, I wish, but they seem to be really technologically advanced and actually quite powerful. So I don't think they're just going to give up without a fight. Every time I cobble together a fix, breaks something else, just like real life. Let's hear Mum speak. Thank you, Tim. Look, Roxanne's really into the constant vigilance thing, huh? You're for real. Buenas noches, vecinos. Do you remember what we lost when Roxanne bulldozed this block? Hey, you okay? Let me remind you. Yeah, it's just last time we did one of these, my bad. Best hand rolled ice cream in New York City. And Junipero's daycare. It'll be okay, man. Your mom's got people looking out for her. St. Teresa's church. This choir. Plus, now you're a spider. Even now, Roxanne is transporting new form. It's experimental fuel across the city. But they won't tell us the risks. This message is for Roxanne. The man you answer to, Simon Krieger, is a killer. I knew it! He was too smooth talking and not trustworthy. I won't let it open. The underground will stop it. Oh, snap! We've got a situation here. Everyone, stay calm! Nowhere to run! Weapons up! Miles and his family never seem to get a break. They need you. I'll help your mom. Come on! Stay back! I need it! Oh, that was a strong punch. E poor guy getting hit by those fists would be like, oh my god, metal to the face. No. But now comes Spider-Man. Alright, we're gonna attack the underground. Venom attacks all the way. It just is so cool. Every single time I manage to use one of those, it's like, oh, that's wicked. So let's keep on going, take out as many of these guys as I can, and try to take as little damage as I can. Pretty sure I get hit here, but it's actually pretty well played for the most part. You know, take out the bad guys, use the Venom attacks as soon as I can, and yeah, just strategically do this. This was actually just so much fun to play. And again, everything is one take, and this is my first time playing this, so I have no idea what it's going to be like, and we're just, yeah, attacking enemies, having our best shot at it. Oh, that's cool! I stopped you at the subway. I'll do it again. <laughs> like so many more of them just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is she okay? She hurt her arm when she fell. Don't worry, we're taking care of her. What about you? What's the underground doing? This attack doesn't make sense. I thought they wanted a new form. If there isn't any here, I'll have to figure out the Tinkerer's next move. Why attack the rally? Are they anti Miss Morales? Because if so, why? She's just trying to be a positive influence in this world. Why attack Miss Morales? Oof, we got hit there. Okay, that's alright. Let's just figure out how we're gonna do this. Honestly, using Venom attacks is so cool, every single time. I don't think I'm ever going to tire of the Venom attacks in this game. Oh, whoa, they're all the way over here. Okay. Venom attack. Well, that one's taken out. What was that? Ooh, okay, something serious is happening off in the distance. Let's go and investigate. Wait, this has got to be the bridge section. Oh, it's going to be the bridge section. 
Whoopsie, swung the wrong way. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be sweet. Let's go to the bridge section. What if something happens to you while I'm not there? Miho, this isn't like City Hall. We're all okay. You stay where it's safe. Entiende? I'll be back soon. And I'll even let you sign my cast. Okay, Ma. Nos vemos en casa. Again. Time capsule's in between the train cars. I can't believe we managed to hide it without Mom, getting caught. I tried to reach you and your mom. Where are you now? I'm headed to Braithwaite Bridge. There was an explosion. All right. But if Roxxon shows up, you run. Got it? They'll look for some of the blame for all this, and it won't just be the tinkerer. Okay. I'll be careful. But that explosion looked bad. I gotta hurry. Alright, I've already seen the bridge section, but let's go and play it! Again, this is done in one take, so this is just my first time playing through the section and what I could get done. Let's do it! Looks like the plaza was just a warm up. Or a distraction. Go, go, go! go, go, go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not shoot each other, alright? That's very spotty. It's also very cool to have him in this Spider Bear suit. And the Tinker is just like, I take no prisoners. Alright, they're lethal. We're after the new form. Ignore everything else. I'm actually really liking the Spider-Man villains in the Spider-Man games. They're actually deadly and they have malicious intent. I suppose this is starting to distinguish Spider-Man games from kids' games. Because the villains are no longer just all happy and friendly. They're actually dangerous. In Spider-Man 2018, they kill. I'm sure that there's something similar yeah, happening here. It's good to see malicious villains. And malicious enemies. But we're honestly so sick with all our Venom powers. Oh, man, here we go. Whoa, 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 that's Finn. No. No, no, no. Far out! Where'd she get her superpowers from? Is it just the suit? Get out of there, it's gonna explode! Stabilizing it. Get down. Yeah, that's not a safe energy source at all. And that's what happens when you run a little bit of electricity through it. Cities are full of electricity. It's a disaster waiting to happen. Oh boy, here we go! Alright, let's go and take all of these bad guys out in my one attempt at doing it. Alright, let's see how we go, let's see how we go. You okay? I'm fine. But did you see the tinkerer? It's Finn. I'm not too happy about that. It's a great design choice and it's really, really cool and I like the fact that it is Finn. I mean, I was hoping that Finn was going to be nice. She seemed really cool. The fact that she's actually associated with these almost terrorists is like, aww, but no. And I really like the fact that she is now an antagonist to Spider-Man. That's a really good antagonist for Spider-Man to have. We get distracted easily here. What I mean is that now that I know that Finn is the Tinkerer, I'm just like, oh, oh no. I was hoping that they would just live happily ever after and have an awesome time but not fight. I don't want to see them fight. In the same way that when I watched Captain America Civil War, even though it was so awesome to see, I was kind of gut-wrenched watching Captain America and Iron Man fight. I just didn't want to see their relationship break down. I don't want to see Miles Morales and Finn's relationship break down. Because I'm actually invested in their story. So well done. This is actually so cool and a really, really awesome thing for the story. It's actually making me go, oh no, I don't want to see them fight. But it's going to be so awesome to see them fight. It's just that their relationship is actually really, really good. And I'm curious to see how they handle a conflict like this. Also, that just looked so awesome. <laughs> well, I remember seeing this. When the whole bridge sequence was actually advertised and that Spidey Miles Morales trailer came out a while ago and it's so cool to be playing this. No, 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 
Whoa! Okay, what we gotta do? What we gotta do? I'm actually not gonna voice over most of this part. I'm just gonna let the spectacle of this wow viewers because honestly this is so cool the bus. quickly right I've got to stop the bus from falling over I want I want I want oh it wants me to aim R1 in a specific direction okay I wish it said like aim to the right but this is cool Spam it, spam it, spam it! Yes! Oh, whoa, things are turning really hairy really quickly. Alright, let's go and save this bridge! At least the people are. We got this, we got this. That is honestly so sick. <laughs> whoa. It feels like something straight out of Spider Man Homecoming. Sweet! I wondered if I needed to actually press L1 there, so I was getting ready for it. But that's stable! What's next? Pull that over? Okay, let's do that. Well, that worked out well. Ah, oh, the classic Spidey struggling against impossible odds to save the day moment. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Come on, Spidey, you got this. Come on, come on, it's all gonna be alright! We got him, we got him! Sick! No! That's not good! That is not good! That is cool though! I honestly really like that! I also really hope that there are moments like that which are QTEs in this game as well. Thank you. you did what you could, Spidey. You did what you could. I did this. Nah, not you directly. My powers. I made it explode. It's really cool to see Spidey Mars Morales actually taking this into account though. That's why we like him. He feels responsible. They're approaching a bit aggressively. Everyone safe. After the explosion, the bridge started to... eyes on the other Spider-Man. Please advise. What's going on? Ooh, my official advice is... Right. Copy. No! Uh-uh, that's no. not fair! Come on, guys. No, I'm not your enemy. Exactly! Rock's on! Hey, leave him alone! I'm recording Honestly, thank you so much, lady. That's awesome. Put that phone away now! I said put that phone away now! Whoa! Well, that escalated quickly. Roxon is being the primary school bully who's just being territorial because they think it's their playground. <gasps> Spidey's activating his actual invisibility style! Oh, Spidey Miles Morales has so many abilities. In every single way they've made Spider-Man Miles Morales better, stronger, and cooler than Spider-Man 2018 Spider-Man. Which I don't mind because it's so cool to see Spider-Man Miles Morales with all these abilities and powers, but... He's literally Spider-Man 2018, which swings better, and has two whole new powers, which Spider-Man 2018 doesn't have. Venom attacks and invisibility. They were going to shoot me. They didn't even listen. Are you okay? I think if I wasn't expecting that, I'd be a little shaken up. I don't know. Simon Krieger, discussing the destruction of Braithwaite Bridge. Look, I want to root for the new Spider-Man, but his, what, what did you call it? Bioelectricity? You want breakfast? Well, that cost us Roxxon property, and it destroyed a bridge. This Roxxon is messed up. That's not what happened. When... Finn's the tinkerer. She stole the new form. No idea why. It's my fault the bridge blew up. No, it's not. 
I'm headed to the campaign headquarters. You boys need anything while I'm out? I could pick up Dulce de Coco. Yeah, I understand Miles completely. Even determined parents can get killed here. I thought you'd quit after last night. Why would I quit? I said I'd fight for my home. I meant it. You could have... You could have died. Our family doesn't give up. You know that. Mom! Felicity de Coco would be great. If you don't mind. I don't mind. When I got powers, and I, I thought I'll be able to fix anything, do anything that Spider-Man does. Whenever you say Spider-Man, you always mean the other one. Now you are the Spider-Man. You're Spider-Man. You can fix this. Your way. Oh yeah, I sense an epic suit intro coming up. But that's going to be my next video. All right, I think I'll finish this video here. Thank you so much for watching Smart Gabe's Games today. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.